This video is going to be used to demonstrate frozen CPU product number T00-05, which is our dual-ended universal Molex pin remover. The two ends on this, you've got a male end and a female end. The way you can decipher between the two is that the male end is a longer, skinnier end, and the female end is a little bit wider and a tiny bit shorter. Um, these are named after the type of pin they're going to be removing. So in this case, we've got the male Molex pin here. And you take the longer, skinnier side of this tool, put it over the first pin, and uh, we suggest that you push the wire as far into the connector as possible before going to remove it. That way you've got less contact between the pin and the connector. And uh, usually we like to work the tool a little bit to help depress the, the two tabs that are going to be on this pin. And you should depress them in enough that the pin will just slide right out of the connector. If the pin does not slide out easily, there's probably too much contact being made between the actual uh, tabs on the side of the pins and the plastic on the connector itself. That way you just don't want to force it, otherwise you'll bend those tabs back and render them useless. We'll move on to the female end. Same deal with that. Um, like I said, you just push the wire as far into the connector as possible to avoid the contact between the prongs on the pin and the connector itself. You should be able to feel the tool depress those two um, tabs on the pin. At that point, the connector and the pin should slide apart from each other just like that. We also like to suggest that if you are uh, mounting a power supply, um, it's never a bad idea to pull the tabs on the pin back out using the tool. Just slide it under the tab, kind of pull it out a little bit. That way you guarantee that when you go to put the pin back into the connector, and you'll hear it snap here, that it's locked into place and it won't fall out causing a short circuit. 